What is up guys, Python here, back again with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the fact that the time is ticking, let's go here. Time is ticking on the Francisco Lindor situation. You got pretty much now 24 hours till opening day. Things are getting very concerning for me and for every Met fan's likings right now. And this is getting honestly beyond irritating in my opinion. You got reports that the Mets' final offer is $325 million over 10 years, but Lindor wants $385 over 12 years, and things are getting out of hand with this. You know what isn't out of hand, though? Click in the link in the description and go in the fade grips. You could get yourself grips for your controller just like this. Get yourself cases, snapbacks, shirts, whatever you want to get. Go to fade grips. The link is in the description. Use code Python and save yourself 20% off. We got a lot to talk about with this because this is honestly frustrating from both sides of... Uh, from both sides, from management and from Francisco Lindor himself. I'm honestly pissed at both sides with this entire thing, quite frankly. The reason I'm pissed with management is because of the fact that you waited till spring training to start the negotiations when the second you traded for him the negotiations should have started from the jump you didn't want to start from the jump fine give him a couple weeks or so let him settle in the fact that he got traded but you gotta start the negotiations earlier than this they waited way too long you waited till the middle of spring training not even the beginning and now you're here with the clock ticking with uncertainty of your future with francisco Lindor, and it is honestly concerning to me and every met fan that's on the planet and i'm upset with management when it comes to that front they should have been well ahead of the game with this. Well ahead. I'd Even if I were them, try to talk to Lindor before the trade and be like, hey, if we trade for you, you're going you're gonna to stay? Or like, what, what might be the deal here? Because there were rumors before he got traded here that he may have not wanted to play for us and that he wanted to be a Dodger and stuff like that. Instead, there was rumors about that. I don't know how true those reports are, but there were reports about that. And quite frankly, it it's becoming a little more believable as the time has been going on lately. As the past, I'd say, 48 hours have transpired, the past week or so, it's being a little more clear that maybe Francisco Endor does not want to be here. And this is where I'm pissed off with him. The Mets started by offering him a contract under $300 million, which to me was fair value. And $300 million was his value, in my opinion, from the jump. So going under, it's like, all right, not bad. And then they started getting into... Then uh, Lindor obviously was like, hell no, I'm not taking that. So the Mets bumped up the offer, I'd imagine, to $300 million. He probably said no. Then they said final offer 325 million 10 years. And Lindor still turned it down and said no to that. He wants 12 years 385 million. And it pisses me off that he rejected that kind of money from us. It, it truly pisses me off both ends of both ends of this entire thing. Because at the same time, if you're the Mets right now, you put yourself in some in a pressure. Uh, tr you put yourselves under pressure to get a deal done now before opening day. Well, Lindor kind of put that pressure on, but you have more pressure to get this deal done because of the fact that you gave up so many assets to go out and inquire and acquire Francisco Lindor. You gave up Andres Jimenez, who could have been your shortstop of the future potentially, which. He looked pretty good this spring, not going to lie. I know Lindor did, but, and I know it's just spring training, but he looked great. You gave up Rosario, wasn't a big fan of, but you gave him up. You gave up Josh Wolf, who I think is going to be a stud and be amazing, especially with the way that Cleveland is with their pitching staff. And then you also gave up Isaiah Green, which, yeah, we have a couple guys like Crow Armstrong uh, in the pipeline for the outfield, 
but you still gave up a good amount. And the main concern to me is the fact that you gave up Andres Jimenez, who I fear it's going to haunt you. And from the jump, I said it with this trade that I have a feeling that it's going to come back and haunt us making that trade and giving up Jimenez. That's just my opinion on that. It's just insane. It's just insane where we are right now. And to me, if I'm the Mets, I, I say, all right, if you're not going to accept the $325 million, all right, come revisit us in free agency when no other team's going to offer you that much. Because I truly don't believe any other team's going to offer him that much money. You got still Baez on the free agent market coming up. You got Trevor Story. You got Corey Seager. You got Carlos um, Correa. I almost said Carrasco there. <laughs> wow. You got Correa, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing one other shortstop, unless it's just Lindor that I'm forgetting. He'll quickly learn that that $385 million is not going to happen. And that's another thing that pisses me off about this entire thing is the Tatis contract honestly set the Mets up in a worse situation because Francisco Endor obviously has way more experience under his belt with postseason experience, nevertheless, more than 162 games by far. And it kind of made him probably be like, oh, look, this Fernando Tatis, look at the contract he just signed with the Padres. Look at that. He hasn't played 162. I have. Give me the money. He's probably looking at that deal and is basing it on that and saying, hey, I'm a better shortstop. I think I'm the best shortstop in baseball. Give me more money than him. That's truly what I think um, helped, helped screw the Mets in this entire situation is the Padres extending Tatis. I think that honestly did not do the Mets any favor whatsoever. In my opinion, though, like I said, if he doesn't sign, it, it's it's terrible. It's terrible in in terms of the look for management. It's terrible look for Lindor. It's going to be a huge there's going to be a huge cloud over the clubhouse's head about this entire thing. It's going to prolong the Conforto extension. Who knows what's going to happen with Syndergaard now? It's going to just derail this entire train. And I don't like it. I truly do not like one thing about this entire situation. I truly don't. But yeah, I would say. Hey, Lindor, you're not getting the 325 million from anyone else. You're going to quickly learn that. Except that if you don't. There are four other, or five, whatever it was, four other talented shortstops we could go out and sign if you don't want to be with us next year. We could go out and get a Corey Seager. We could go out and get uh, a Trevor Story. Could be a little swap there. Corey Seager for Lindor, because I truly think Lindor is going to end up with the Dodgers if he hits free agency. That's where I truly think he'll end up, which is just completely unfair and stupid, but... That's just the way it's probably going to be. If I'm the Mets, I don't know what I do here. I truly don't know what I do here because, like I said, you put yourself in a situation where you feel forced to get this deal done, but at the same time, you have other priorities beyond Francisco Lindor that you can't just say, all right, give him the $385 million. Another thing that pissed me off was Alonzo today saying that uh, oh, give him four hundred million. Stop! Stop! Just stop! Like, stop! Just building up the situation. Stop! I don't know what word I'm looking for to say here, but stop! Like, making the situation even bigger here. I I can't think of the the word that I wanted to use there, but. That honestly irritated me when I heard him say that. That truly did. Truly did. And I'm just beyond worried with, uh, with where this franchise is going. 
Not in the long term. I mean with Lindor. I meant going with Lindor. D don't take me. Don't. I cannot talk right now. Do not take that as me saying that the Mets are screwed if Francisco Lindor does not sign with us. Because like I said, there are other shortstops we could go after in the open market if he does end up walking. Or you could potentially revisit a deal in free agency. But my problem is you wanted to get a deal done before opening day because I just know that this is going to be a huge distraction all season. All season, not just for the Mets, but specifically for Francisco Lindor, who already, in my opinion, underachieved last year because of the fact that he knew he was probably going to get dealt. He didn't know his contract situation. And, or maybe it's going to motivate him to say, hey, Steve Cohen, I deserve $385 million. Give me the check right now. I hope that's what it does, but my fear is it's not because the New York media is not not going to stop getting all over Lindor the entire time. The fans are not going to let Lindor catch a break at all with this. You're going to be in a position where things get tricky with Conforto. Things are going to be bad. There is nothing good to come if you don't find the resolution to the Lindor situation within the next 24 hours, practically. I don't see anything good coming from this. Or who am I kidding? Once I click to stop recording this video, Lindor is going to get his extension, huh? That's just the way it's going to work, right? Hopefully, so this entire thing ends. Be sure to leave a like, though, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. We're going to be getting into the Mets, co into Mets content here on the channel with the, uh, the season coming up. We're going to be doing game reactions like I do with the New York Rangers. So if you're a Ranger and Met fan, hey, you already know what it's like with these um reaction videos and everything but if you're new and just finding me because of this video and you're a met fan you don't want to miss out on any of the content like that i basically recap give my thoughts and opinions on different ranger games and i'm going to be doing the same thing with the mets as the season gets going here but hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new other than that's been python i'm out peace